Okay, I think I wanted to talk about uh, the picking hand and just getting it really under control today. And I got quite a lot of emails um, in the last week or so about uh, picking technique and uh, a lot of people asking me really, really specific questions over uh, grip, over um, where they should place the hands and forearm and all this kind of stuff. And uh, one of the things I really wanted to say um, about all of this is that I think a lot of people are overthinking the uh, process to getting a lot better at picking and I want to go over the real generic way of just improving your technique um, and hopefully it'll be useful. So this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about grip, whether or not you need to hold it like this, hold it like this, uh, you know, hold it short lane way like this, two fingers, one finger, etc, etc. Um, my response to that is that I don't really think it matters at all. There are so many good players who are playing uh, with any one of these particular techniques that uh, I don't think there's any uh, tendency towards one particular grip or one particular style of playing as we get faster and faster and faster. So I'm of the opinion that there's something else going on here and that your pit grip doesn't really matter that much in terms of really getting that fine tuned. Obviously go for whatever you find intuitively easier. So if you do switch your pit grip and you just get better almost instantly, then that's probably the one you want to go for. But that's often what happens with a lot of this picking um, stuff is that you find something that works and you improve very quickly. Generally speaking, you should not be spending loads and loads of time um, slowly building up your picking hand to a, very, a really high speed. If you're hitting uh, roadblocks at pretty slow speeds, and slow, by slow speeds I mean somewhere around 140-150 BPM 16th note mask, if, mark, if that is really problematic for you, um, when you make the right adjustment you will almost instantly be able to play faster. Uh, it is not something you have to build up and try and, you know, train your muscles for. It should just be a twitch mechanic. So the thing I want to talk about is like, well, how do we build these twitch mechanics super fast? And I've probably for the camera going out of focus loads. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but uh, I just want to show that. And that's why I'm zoomed in a little bit today. And I've got this weird looking demonstration pick. Never buy one of these, by the way. Um, they don't sound particularly good, but they're great for demonstrating some of this stuff. So let's get into it. First things first. Um, it's, it remains pretty obvious, I think, that uh, the less movement you use, the better. Um, if I'm trying to play one string like this, let me just turn that up again. So, and I've got all of this excess motion going on here. If I speed up that, it's not going to be that fast. We want to have a, as small a motion as possible. However, and this is where a lot of people go wrong, we do not want small motion to be this. What you'll notice I've done there is that I've really tensed up the grip and I've really tensed up what I'm doing in order to try and get that motion to be smaller. I'm trying to be really accurate and tense the hand to do it. That is the worst thing you can do because then you're introducing loads of tension into the hand. And these two things are uh, at odds to each other. You can't have more tension in the grip, you can't have a wider motion, you want a really small motion with a really light touch. This is kind of tricky to do. So what we want to do is just, I just put the pick on the string and I just try and use a twisting motion. It's like a twitch back and forth from the wrist. And I'm really trying to keep that grip as loose as possible. Hopefully you can see how much the pick is moving in my hand here. If I slow that down, I've not got a uh, really tight grip on that at all. I probably go lighter than that. I'm still trying to just brush the string. This sounds awful, by the way. I don't know if you can hear how awful this sounds. It's really annoying. Um, that is A, because of the pick I'm using. These things do not sound particularly good. And B, it's just um, a lot of exercises like this uh, don't particularly sound that good when you try and do them at slow speeds. But this is what you want to try and build up. And now I want to make that very slightly faster. Now, if you're trying to do this and trying to relax the grip and you're finding you're dropping that pick loads, that just means you're too deep in the strings. If I'm here, you can immediately see I've got too much movement in that pick and I'm going to drop it very, very quickly. So that's not going to be um, something we want to do. So I'm just going to try and keep that really, really light on the end of the string like this. So I hope you can see that. That's what you want to be practicing, is trying to get that as light as possible and as tight as possible with the motion. 
right? And those two things do not sound like they should go together, but they do and they make a massive difference. So if I'm doing the full thing, what was I doing? I did, um... If I'm doing that and I'm practicing it, I want to do it really slowly. And even on the string changes, I'm not introducing any tension there. I'm not trying to tense up to get that string change to happen. It is just happening as per usual. So we are not trying to do this. Like you see the thumb move there when I was tensing down onto that next string. That is not what you want. You want to keep that grip super light. And that's how you get the speed, okay? So the speed of this is also to do with getting this really, really um, fine twitching mechanic and then also just being on the absolute tip of the pick, being super light with your grip and keeping the motion super small. All of those things together. If any one of them is not correct, you are not gonna get the speed. And that's really important. Like if you try and tighten up your grip and then play this really, really close to the strings, you're not gonna get it. If you're too deep in the strings and you've got a really light grip, you're not gonna get it etc etc it has to be all of those things together now in order to get us to general wrist motion one of the things i've said to my students which kind of helps is if you imagine um like kind of shaking your hand back and forth like you put it in the fire and then um, this camera is going to piss me off in a minute um, and then you literally make this motion as small as possible and you make it so it's literally just a twitch back and forth and hopefully you can see how how light i'm trying to go there i'm trying to make this motion as small as possible again the pick is not I'm not tensing up to do that. The grip is super light. It's literally just like a back and forth motion from the wrist. So we're really, really light with that. And you can, and that we then just apply to the string. So if I'm here, I'm doing this. You can hopefully see I can keep that at max speed and then apply it to the string and take it off and apply it to the string and take it off. Now, if you find that super hard, that's because your control isn't where it should be yet. And that's one of the reasons why you're having a problem with this. So this is how you should practice these things. Now, when it comes to um, hand synchronization and things like that, you may find that as you, if you try and play like this and you're not used to playing like this, your hand synchronization just stops working very well. That's normally then because there's too much tension in the fretting hand, which I've covered in uh, a recent video. If you go watch my other video um, that I posted um, the other day, that one will probably uh, explain that a little bit better. So you need to make sure that there's no tension in either hand, and that's something that um, I will go on to talk about a little bit more in a little bit more detail. So all of this six note per string stuff is relatively straightforward. And like I say, the real key to take away from this video is don't overcomplicate things. Stop thinking too much about exactly where all of your um, positions are. I know I've talked about this stuff a little bit, but I, those videos are much, much more advanced, I think, than most people need. For the basics and for just getting up to speed and getting the speed really good, what you need is really light touch, really relaxed pick grip, just on the edge of the string, and as small a motion as you possibly can. And if you get all of those things right, uh, you will probably find you're picking at light speed very, very quickly. Give all that a go and uh, let me know how it goes.